Here's my review for Chibunyo Demokoi Gashi Tai, episode 9. I love this episode. Chibunyo is just, I freaking I love the show. Another good episode. It's very good, very well paced, and just a good ending. A really good ending, okay? Uh, like, the, the relationship is, is moving forward. I, I like this. Like, because the things I was ner I was nervous already. Just, just let me just talk about this. But I, cause I was nervous that they may not pursue the relationship any further than this. You know what I'm saying? Because there are shows that be um, playing around or or just teasing us with them, like with their relationships and stuff like that. What like, a good example is Oriki and Chitanda. They they seem like they're gonna get together at some point, or at least have some development going on. But none never happened. But this show. It's actually putting some development and it's going a little further with the relationship with this. And I like this. I like that. So, you know, this is, like I said, this was a good episode. You know, it's a great episode. Great episode. So, I enjoyed this. So, let me get to the summarization. And basically, what was going on and what they got to do is there's going to be this festival at their school. It's called the Ginkgo Fair. And basically, you know, it's just, it's just you know, regular stuff. Buy things, you know, host events and stuff with your clubs. And, you know, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So, with that being said, Nubatani actually takes the, takes the um, head and starts trying to tell everyone what to do, what they need to do, what they're going to be doing, and stuff like that. And the thing is, she actually quit the cheerleading club, so she's investing all her time in this uh, group. And what they're going to do, what they're planning on doing is like this public, uh, like, like, I'm not really explaining. It's just basically, you're going to be like, like a regular person just walking in the, in the, in, out in public, right? And then all of a sudden, you're gonna break out dancing, and the rest of the group, they're gonna come in, and they're gonna start coming in too, and start dancing, or whatever they're gonna be doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be breaking out and start doing some weird crap all of a sudden. So, I mean, alright, okay. <laughs> so, I look forward to what, they're, what, they're, what they'll be doing. So, with that, um, the rest of this episode was basically um, Rika, she's not feeling the same she she's falling in love and she doesn't really know what's going on she, like every time she sees togashi she her heart um you know goes all fast she's just blushing she she don't know what's going on and so she wanted to fight togashi because she didn't know what else to do she's like there must be some kind of spell going on him so i'm just like what's happening and so she tries to fight him it, it didn't go well she ends up getting chopped in the head and you know she still starts feeling flustered the moment she put, he put his hand, hit, um, his hand out to her, and she just, she just don't, she don't, not, she don't understand her feelings at all, and she just doesn't know what's going on. She tells Common Com, Com about this, and Common ends up telling Nubatani, and Nubatani then, in fact, tries to help Rika basically fall in love with Togashi, actually, you know, do something, have something happen, because you know she actually wants to kiss him, and you know, hug him, and you know what I'm saying? I was like, whoa, and she's like, yeah, she kind of wants to do this, so. They end up trying to go through a little random stuff that they're that was going on because they're trying to help with the um festival by putting up posters and stuff like that, and it wasn't going good because she like one of the things is that she was supposed to say um how do you feel about me but she ends up saying how do you feel about my wicked eye because she's still in the chibinoy form and stuff she just can't really express her feelings in a normal way basically and so throughout all this whole thing this whole episode is at the end basically where. Um, Nibatani basically sets them up to be able to talk to each other, and they're on top of the roof, basically, uh, of the school. So that's really, that's really high. And they see the sunset and stuff, the horizon, you know. And he's talking about that, and he's wondering, "You've been acting weird lately. Um, is there something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Or, you know, is it? it are you bothered by the fact that I know about your past and stuff? I'm just, and he's like, I'm glad I know it. And he ends up saying, I like how, how you're. There's, I, like, I, I, I misunderstood you. You know, the, the whole Ithril Horizon thingy. It's actually pretty cool that you're trying to do this and, you know, so on and so forth. And that made her happy. She ends up finally getting up, saying something, but then she ends up falling down off the um, roof. So, um, Togashi ends up going down to the third floor to be able to grab her. And they end up grabbing, he ends up grabbing her, getting her down. And that's when Rika actually just holds on to Togashi. And it was just, like, it, it was a good moment. You know, it, it was good. I, I, saw, I, I really liked that part. It's hugging each other and stuff and like this little circle thing. And it's butterflies in the air. Butterflies in the air. So it, I guess it was a, it was good. You know, that's why, that's why I really like this episode because you know she's like ah ah you know she's 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 in love. You know she's in love, and I think hopefully hopefully Togashi gets this. Hopefully Togashi gets this because you know this hug because it's an indication that she didn't want to let go of you. I mean come on man, come on. So hopefully he understands the next episode and realizes you know she's falling in love with him. He should make a move or something. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I, 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 I look forward to this. And when it comes to Ishiki, he still isn't making any moves. He can't, 
he can't get anything right with Kame. With Kame. He just everything goes wrong. He was about to get beat up by some people or something like that, and then they're like just just ignore him. And I'm like that's cold. And he was I didn't even know who he was. Like he's like uh because Kame ends up saying his name. And he's like who? I like heard the name from I heard the name before. I don't know who it is though. And I'm like god dang. <laughs> it's like messed up. So like I said, this this was a good episode though. You already know my favorite part was the hug. You know that that was that was great. That was great. I just want to see what's gonna happen next. What kind? What, what what else progression? What else? What else could happen? Are they actually gonna end up um, going forward or going further with this relationship? You know, trying to actually get together. You know what I'm saying? Will there be a kiss at some point? Then, you know what I'm saying? I'm wondering what what, what exactly is gonna happen here. And I'm looking forward to the performance in the um, Ginkgo Fair. So you know, I'm looking forward to that as well. So that's all I got to say for this episode. Like I said, it was good. That's why I just, I just really enjoy this stuff. I, I don't know. I, I, I love like slash black kind of anime. This, this, is my, this is my thing. You know, this this is my thing. That's why I like talking about this stuff. It just, it may, it, it's a good feeling. It's, it's a good feeling. So with that being said, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. What was your favorite moment of the episode? Favorite moment of the episode? And you know, just what do you think of the episode? I, I really like to know. Like, like this review. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more. Chimio de Makoi got Shitai episode reviews for me. So with that being said, this has been the Breakmaster. And until then, break out.